the back of another day with track in the tropics with another with the hurricane central member. Hello. Okay, let okay, in the tropic. I'm looking at tropical storm Ida had formed earlier on today. Yes, looking at a little convection blow up around the center of the system. It is currently located about right here. It is bringing some heavy rains to Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Expected to move across. Expected to move across Cuba early tomorrow morning as a strong tropical storm. Now, here's the problem. Louisiana and parts of New Orleans are in some danger here, as this could potentially be a hurricane category four by Sunday. There's a visible satellite imagery. It's, you can really see, you can't really detect a low pressure, like a low level circulation currently in the system, but I don't see it looks too bad on satellite imagery. Yeah. Right now the models, the models remain the same, all them kind of clustering together because and in with an invest, it doesn't really have us a low level circulation, so it'd be kind of harder to detect where the system will go. Earlier on today, no, I think two days ago, the track was carrying it here into this area over here. Like into yeah, it was. Cool. It rained. That area was where I was. Um, where was my where was where my cousin was living, and he, yeah, it was raining. It was storming over there. By the yeah, then the track shifted more into Corpus Christi and Brownsville area. Then yesterday shifted over Houston, and now today it shifted over Louisiana. So they are in for some pretty big trouble with tropical storm Ida. Expected to make landfall as a as a borderline category three system. For now temperature temperatures in the, in the eastern Pacific now, I mean in the Gulf uh, around 50 to 52 degrees Celsius. So this is this this can rapidly intensify. And right now, the, the wind shear is pretty low in the Gulf. But as you notice here that the, this, the circulation of the system is about right here. This is really estimated. A recon, a recon was sent out today and they actually got winds of at least 40 miles per hour. So it got designated as a tropical storm. As you can see, some we could have to do some spotlight spotlights you guys see. You could see yeah, it, it's getting a little wind shear. It's getting a little wind shear from this side. So all this time the storm activity could go with the wind shear across it. So the stop all the standard storm from wrapping around the low pressure here. So that really will stop it from shrinking anymore. But this trap or wind shear is likely to die out in a couple of days while the system moves into the Gulf. So other than that, we have Invest 97L. The model intensity carries it at least a tropical storm by tomorrow. And 98L, the model for 98L carries it upwards. And the pressure track usually keeps it at a tropical uh, inverse 98 for a while. But when it moves over into this region, it could possibly strengthen further. Yeah. This, for me, this could be. Well, I expected this since the beginning of this hurricane season because usually the I names are pretty strong storms like Irma, Isabel. Those are pretty strong storms that got retired. 
and I don't know if you can see this, but this is all the time the storm activity here. And I would say the low pressure is about right here. And since the wind shear is impacting all these thunderstorms, they're getting pushed through. So we wouldn't really see any strength of this system for a while. Other than that, this, we could most likely see, or um, we could either see Julia and Kate in the next couple of days. Could see how is how is this gonna result? How is this gonna turn out in the end? Wait, can I repeat that? How is this gonna turn out in the end? Like what will the results be? For tropical storm Ida? Yeah. Not too good for Louisiana. This could be a at least I would say a cut four at landfall. A cat four could do six x devastating damage to Louisiana. And what's on top of it, they suffered a lot from strong hurricanes last year. They got it as with Delta, as what I think as was a category two at landfall and hurricane, major hurricane Laura that devastated them and killed at least 14 people, probably more, and went up the coast. As a and Laura was a four at landfall. So at the end, I would say, I would say I'm not like the government of the state, but I would advise people to evacuate because this has the potential to totally destroy your house and your property. So if I was in the situation, I would definitely evacuate the areas like Florida. But we don't know where the system. This, I don't know if it could be good, but this cone here that you're seeing, this cone here, is, this, is a possible track where the system could go in a couple of days. So anybody that is inside of this cone will experience tropical storm conditions. And right now, wind speeds in this system. Wind speeds are at currently at 40 miles per hour or 35 knots and is moving northwest. But here at our other end, that's 97 or 98. The formation chances of this system is 50, 70, 50% in two days and 70% in five days. The next one is 60% in two days and 70% in five days. And this is not all the tropical activity worldwide. We have- Yes, yeah, sure, the entire world have a lot of um, nothing weather really, activity. Yeah, mm -hmm. nothing really active in the Central Pacific, but in the Eastern Pacific, we have tropical storm Nora, which got named to earlier on today. Pressure standing to drop one, and once the pressure drops, the the strength of the system will rise. The lower the pressure goes, the higher the the, strength, the stronger the storm is. I can remember tropical storm, I mean hurricane, major hurricane Patricia, that started off when pretty moved outward, and pressure in the system dropped at, at least eight hundred and ninety which made it one of the strongest hurricanes in recorded history. Thankfully, it didn't do, it did it the weekend before it made land, made land for in this area in the, in 2015. Just recently, actually. But it's so, I have a question. Yeah. Um, how much people know this information and like, what is their plan to, like, prevent everyone from, like, dying from this? Well, apparently well, people in Louisiana have to prepare for the system. So, basically, everyone there knows about the system. 
So not really Pensacola will die because in 2005, when Katrina, when Katrina developed over here and came across Florida and rose up to strike Louisiana, it killed over 1,500 people. But the reason for that is back then nobody really knew about knew about Na natural disasters. Yeah, natural disasters. You know, yeah, but they didn't really know about hurricanes, and back then we didn't even have the technology to track hurricanes like now. And people wasn't even expecting a hurricane to be that strong to impact to them. So that was really what was responsible for all the deaths and devastation in Louisiana from Hurricane Katrina. But nowadays we have top of the line technology to track the system so less and less people will die from hurricanes every year. Yeah, because they will be informed. Mm -hmm. Too bad we don't even continue. Before, continue. Yeah. Before the system developed, it was being tracked by the GFS models. Let me show you some for the forecast models. Now these show that systems that could develop in a couple of days. You can see this was this is currently I don't know expected to move across to Louisiana as a pretty strong storm past the category four. Then in a couple of days again, we see another system coming to hit Cuba and passing off. And then we will see, I don't know if it was this model or another model. We see another system developing in the Eastern Pacific. There's one um, major problem about like all of this. You want to know? Let's you want know. to know? Let's go up And we could see on between August 26th and August 29th, we could see another system developing. Now, I think it was well, global model. I, I can't find the models now, but had a system that was predicted to form when I moved across Louisiana and died out over this area. They, they also show another system coming out, hitting Cuba and turning, turning west and slamming eastern going up. I, I can't seem to find it. What was your question, Iran? Um, was not really a question. It's more of like um, like a theory. Um, from back way then when um, we didn't know about hurricanes or have the technology to um track them. Nowadays yeah. we still don't have the technology to track them. Well, I mean we do, but like we don't have like the technology yet to like you know prevent them from like happening. Well, a hurricane will develop and hurricanes will actually get stronger due to climate change. Warmer, warmer ocean temperatures means stronger systems will develop and, we, and storms will occur more frequent, more frequently across the world. So I don't think we could prevent hurricanes currently. We don't have that kind of technology, but we can have the technology to detect it way before it starts to show organization. Last week, when tropical, when major hurricane Greece made landfall in Veracruz, I think. Problem. Yeah, but there's another problem. Before people can get like word of this, they'll be like too, um, too focused on like what's going on in the world now, like COVID. Yeah, but. So everyone yeah. will be too focused on like COVID and stuff instead of yeah, but, yeah, but they need to focus on this. This has a pretty good chance of killing you if we don't take the proper precaution. Yeah, that's true. But hurricane technology is very advanced now because before this system, a week before the system, they started to develop. 
the model showed that the system was coming, was developing and moving across this, this area. And this week, we actually saw that system developing and now it's, now it's either. But rapid intensification will, well, in order for rapid intensification to happen, need to have low wind shear, very moist air, and high sea surface temperatures. And currently, wind shear in the Gulf are expected to be very low. There's a lot of moist air, and sea surface temperatures are to at least 32 degrees. So we will most likely see rapid intensification with this system. But what's preventing it now is that wind shear and its interaction with land. It wouldn't, it might actually weaken back to a depression tomorrow if it moves slowly over Cuba. So there could be, there are some there are a couple of dangers in Louisiana. Yeah. I'm gonna suppose that this last thing. To see the visible satellite image, you could show something wrapping around here. So I would think if this will be a hurricane, the eye would be located somewhere in this area. Somewhere in this area that I will locate it. So what do you think of this system, Aidan? Well, I don't even know what to think of it really. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll most likely see a tropical a hurricane according to the National Hurricane Center in a couple of days. Oh, um, another question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like, what would be like the main course of action for dealing with hurricanes? Like what, would be like, the main, like what would be like the main thing that causes hurricanes that we would like be forced to advance to the technology to like prevent that from like causing a hurricane? What well, is that like? We can't really prevent a hurricane. Hurricane is just a part of nature. As a, as a part of nature, it will always occur. We can't stop it from occurring. But yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, but so currently tropical storm warning is in effect for the Cayman Islands and parts of Cuba. And it's and it was and it is expected to become a hurricane. A like a tropical a tropical storm. It's supposed to remain a tropical storm tomorrow morning with today, Tuesday. Yeah, expected to remain a tropical storm by Saturday and be a, be a hurricane by Saturday evening. And both the most likely still are going up until landfall. So, hard, so they have to prepare for a pretty significant system. Now, earlier on today, will they be informed? Yeah, they they okay. are always informed, especially all pretty all this area. Most of the Caribbean should be informed about hurricanes because. This area where I'm circling with the lines are very prone to hurricane. Uh, once every year, they will see at least five, five to six hurricanes passing through in this area right here. Now in the Gulf, now in the Gulf, you will move, the, the states will see like at least seven hurricane landfalls every year, with three being at least major hurricanes. And I could remember how the that it that did at least 130 billion dollars in damage to Texas. And the flood was so bad, people's houses was completely underwater. Well, that's what happens in floods and hurricanes and stuff. But Texas has never seen flood like that since the Galveston hurricane. Back to nine in the nineteen hundreds, I think it was. Well, the day even though it was gonna happen, it was just unexpected. 
the Gavastan one was most likely unexpected. People didn't even know what was a hurricane back in that time of year. But Harvey and they didn't even have. Yeah, but people wasn't expecting Harvey to be that devastating. You know why? Because I'm gonna, I think I think I remember the full track for the system. It started off around here and it's strengthened the tropical storm Harvey in this circle here. But it started to die out very quickly. It wasn't even an it died out to less than a tropical wave in this area. But when it reached off the coast of Texas, it strengthened to a category four. So which means it gained wind speeds of at least 140 miles per hour in a couple of days and made landfall. Pretty unexpected for a system like that. And we will most likely see systems like Harvey and Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Irma to draw the track here. And very, every year we will see systems like Irma, Irma and Dorian. But the fun fact with Dorian is that one thing I found weird with that system is that it moved across here and cut across here and kind of circled around the Bahamas to category five and then moved about the distance like nothing. Of course, very damage in the Bahamas. Any more questions, Ira? No, no more questions. Imagine if I was like, rec like recording and I didn't pick up no song that's all. Right, that would suck. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do the whole thing over. I but there'll be nothing do. wrong with that. There'll be nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I think it's happened to me in my last video. I was doing the course so far and I didn't pick up nothing. Didn't pick up no song. I got pretty frustrated because I had to do it all over again. Was it just you in that video? Or were you with someone else? No, I was just, there was just me in that video. This is Max, my first hurricane discussion. Uh -oh. So you could see Invest 98L, I think, here. Yeah. Looks pretty good on satellite imagery and 97L. This one looks too good, that good. The belly is only a little bit of thunderstorm in this area. And we possibly have another system coming off the African coast later on this week. Put a little view of Ida here. You don't really expect much of investment feet and someone else. If it does get named, the next name on the list is Next thing on the list will be Julia and Pete. Right now we are at Ida. Ooh. What's going on with Ida? Yeah, this is Ida. That expected to make land from Louisiana. Now the I names are usually pretty strong names. Like in 2017, we had Irma. We, then we had Isabel at what I think was in 2015. We had Isabel making a devastating landfall. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna look at these surface temperatures now across the entire world. So you could see. You could see Ida located at least currently in this area here. Hmm. What happened there? Yeah, I can see it. Hold on. Yeah, located in this area. You could see the little window up and around here. So it's currently located over. Water, water is over 27 degrees Celsius, so it's conducted for development. So it's over pretty warm water. You can see water in the Gulf reaching almost 50 degrees. 
but that's like a teen junk of her day. Cut the wind. You see, tropical storm Noah here and hurricane warnings and what is an effect from, from this area coming straight back down. This is this is the weather I expect and see twelve a.m. tomorrow. We can have half an hour. So most likely we'll make one from from Cuba tomorrow. And you could see with this other system, you could see a little rotation in the system. So this system likely will be Julian. It's pretty unsure about this one. Other than that, a tropical storm for Myers, I think just mid land once or three, a couple of days ago. I think this is it located here and died out though. Yeah, pretty done, not that much to talk about in the tropics out okay. here. So I hope everyone enjoyed the, the discussion today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Us. Well, yeah, both of us and the audience here. Yeah. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Subscribe and like. Bye.